Donald Trump was on with Fox and Friends and had the host hysterically laughing as he shredded Kamala Harris. He first addressed a question about the Harris campaign claiming that he's unstable. He then responds to a question from a viewer that is going to be Trump's next viral meme. Check this out. Closing argument time, because we're only yeah. two and a half weeks um, until the election. So this is the final, this is it. So she realized, joy, 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 that's not working for them. Not so now they've, well. they've changed it. <laughs> they, now they're ramping up their rhetoric. And when she sat down with Brett Baer, she said, talking about you, he's unstable. When she uh, was speaking at a rally in Erie, Pennsylvania, she called you unstable and unhinged. And then in this new ad that they've rolled out, she's saying unhinged, more unstable and unchecked. And then this caller that called into Charlemagne the God, his breakfast club show, um, this caller says, I have a sneaking suspicion that if Trump wins, he's going to use this law to put anyone that doesn't look white in camps. And I'm scared. And she says, yeah. So you've hit on a really important point. What is your response and what is your closing argument? Well, first of all, the question is a pretty rough question because, uh, you know, you're giving this whole argument of this woman that I don't think she knows where she is. Uh, she's a low IQ person. She's not smart. Everyone knows that. Uh, didn't even pass her law exam. It was a big thing. She never thought she was going to be able to pass it. Uh, you know, if you tell me this stuff, I'll say it. Uh, I am a, a person that they are a threat to democracy. These people are misinformation people. They'll say, let's go out with this one. They've tried many different things. Uh, they tried, he's a dictator. He's going to take over the whole world. He's a this. It, every week they try something else. So far it hasn't worked. I guess that's the attack they have for this week. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I am the most stable human being. Remember they said uh, a stable genius. I am the most stable <laughs> human being. I've been doing this for a long time. We had four years of greatness. We had the greatest economy in history. We had the greatest border. Brian, you were down there. Mr. President, we got a fun one. But we'll fix it. We got a six-year-old from Massachusetts, and he <clears throat> wants to know about your favorite animal. Let's watch. Mr. President, my name is Briar. I'm six years old. I live on a farm in Massachusetts. What's your favorite farm animal? Favorite farm animal? <laughs> What's the animal? <laughs> well, this guy grew up in the city. Yeah. I'll tell you what I love. I love cows. But if we go with Kamala, you won't have any cows anymore because you're not allowed. I don't want to ruin this kid's uh, day. But I love cows. I think they're so cute and so beautiful and so productive. But according to Kamala, who's a radical left lunatic, you will not have any cows anymore. So we have to yeah. vote her out. You, know, you like cows, you I, have to vote I know. Her. Mr. Right. President, I got a question for you. Uh, either today or tomorrow, you're going to McDonald's. You're going to be working the fryer. Are you going to wear the paper hat? I'm going to do everything. I'll tell you what. You're going to do A it. friend of mine He's owns do it. McDonald's someplace. <laughs> oh, I'm going. Because she lied. You don't think she ever worked at McDonald's? I know she did. We checked it out. <laughs> Unless somebody comes up with that. We checked it out. They said she never worked here. She even picked the store. We went to the manager. The manager's been there forever. You remember her? No, she never worked here. They know. Okay. No, so will you wear the paper hat? Yes, you want. And you know who else I'm talking about? The press. If I said I worked at McDonald's and it mm -hmm. turned out not to be true, it would this be the would biggest be story the ever. front page of that stupid New York Times, the worst paper. <laughs> it is the worst rag. The New York Times is the worst, most decided. They would have me front page for yeah. months. Nobody, I, I can't get anybody. That's why I have to do it myself. That's why I'm so doing it. So you're going to get right. trained and you're going to make French fries? I, I'm gonna, well, I don't know how much the training will be. Not too much salt. It's not going to be. Oh. Just a little, oh, not that much. I love that salt. <laughs> Kamala's going to take the cows. <laughs> I get to see the next round of memes. You know how Trump was the protector of cats? Now he's going to be the protector of cows. <laughs> but you see here, what is not a joke is what he said there at the end. Kamala Harris said that she worked at McDonald's, but never did. Kamala Harris, as Candace Owens is now uncovering, lied about her family history in her ironically titled autobiography, The Truths That We Hold. Kamala Harris is a manufactured politician, no values, who simply stands for and regurgitates and says whatever might be politically convenient for her. If anyone else that wasn't being protected by the Democrat media machine was caught misrepresenting themselves the way that she has, they would be torn to shreds out of politics, publicly shamed. And here's the thing. I bet that if Kamala Harris loses this election, 
her political career will be over. They are not going to touch her again.